The domino theory was thought by the U.S. the worst case scenario when it came to dealing with communist countries. The domino theory at all costs would be avoided by democratic nations. If no action was taken, communists might have taken over the world. In the midst of the chaos of the fight against communism, Vietnam's struggle against France for independence was made apparent to the U.S. Vietnamese leader Ho Chi Minh is hoping the U.S. chose Vietnam's side in the struggle. But the U.S. instead chose to side the longtime ally, France. American leaders feared that communist forces would gain control of Vietnam. Vietnam had been split in half in 1954 after fighting a war to gain independence in France. And when French forces withdrew, Vietnamese communists gained control of North Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh was the leader of the North Vietnamese communists. South Vietnam had a non-communist government. This government was weak, but the U.S. supported it in order to keep the communists from taking control of all of Vietnam. After Dwight D. Eisenhower made it official, his time in office was up. JFK chose to support the South Vietnam government. He was a dedicated supporter of the domino theory and the fight against communism. In 1961, Kennedy agreed that America should finance an increase in the size of the South Vietnamese army. He also agreed that an extra 1,000 U.S. military advisors should be sent to South Vietnam to help train the South Vietnamese army. But from the beginning, the U.S. had dropped the ball. It was during Kennedy's presidency that the Strategic Hamlet Program was introduced. This felt badly and almost certainly drove a number of South Vietnamese peasants into supporting the North Vietnamese communists. This forcible moving of peasants into secure compounds was supported by South Vietnam leader Diem and did a great deal to further the opposition to JFK in the South. As Kennedy sent over 300 U.S. military helicopters, he instructed them to avoid engagement at all costs, the thousand possible. After nearly 20 years of fighting, the efforts of the U.S. and South Vietnam along with all of its other allies proved pointless. They still lost in North Vietnam despite having more than double the soldiers and better weapons. In the very ending, the loss of all of his life seems to be pointless concerning the U.S. did not help them achieve their goal or ours.